Assalamu alaikum dear friends today in 2020 i am here to explain and telling the most important mcq you can say that multiple choice questions or curve fitting by least squares that mcqs are very very important for you and all universities of pakistan india america africa etc and these mcqs i will explain with solutions and reasons and there's so much vast this lecture completely till end if you want to gain more concepts but after watching that lecture must also watch videos of remaining multiple choice questions there's videos of statistics are available in description below the video so let's start the lecture here is the given uh, first mcqs a linear curve is defined as you know that linear curve which has a degree of 1 Dash if is one, dash one, dash called as linear curve. You know that you can see that y is equal to a plus b x. You already know that that's y is called as dependent variable and x is called as independent variable. That's also called as regression line. Next, second point. Y is equal to a b. Raised to power x. Must remember that that equation is also called as exponential curve. Must remember that that y is equal to a b raised to power x. That's called as exponential curve. Exponential curve. Now move it up. That equation can also be written as y is equal to must remember that this and this so fact also is here that so must remember that y is equal to a b raised to power x can also be written as y is equal to a e raised to power b x next the equation of hyperbola is 1 over y is equal to a plus b x must remember that very very important point next a geometric curve which also called as power curve is defined by the relation which is y is equal to ax raised to power b next five point the sum of squares of residuals for a straight line is summation y square as you already know that minus a summation y minus b summation x square but that score that equation score uh, we can say that y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square y is equal to must remember that y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square that's called as that equation is called as you see already this is that it is called as second degree equation you can say that quadratic equation and here must remember that summation y square Minus a summation y minus b summation x y minus c summation x square y. That's that's equation is for straight line. We can say that straight line and that is for second degree parabola. Must remember and the six point the sum of squares for as you for cubic parabola. That equation is for summation y square minus a summation y minus b summation x y. Minus c division x square minus d division x square. That's for cube, and that's for parabola, and and that question is for straight line. I hope that you have clear concepts in that. Now moving the next point. Here is the given for seventh point here. A modified exponential curve is defined by y is equal to a plus a b raised to power x. That's called as exponential curve. But that's called as modified exponential curve. Next, the compass the compass curve is defined by y is equal to k a raised to power b and b raised to power x. That's called as compass compass curve. Next, the logistic curve is defined as y is equal to k divided by y plus b c raised to power x next the macam curve is very very important the macam curve is denoted by y is equal to is defined by relation y is equal to k s raised to powers capital x 
b raised to the power c and c raised to the power x that's called as Meckham curve next level point last step to use very very important we fit an exponential curve if the first differences of the logarithm are approximately constant so i hope that you have clear concepts in that thanks for watching the video if you like this video then kindly must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for gain notification of my new lecture goodbye